What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com, Ash Said It.com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,300 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. Thank you guys so very much. I am joined today by two of my favorite guests in the whole wide universe, Dr. Z and Mama Z. You guys know their brand new book, The Essential Oils Diet, is out today. Dr. Z, Mama Z, how are you guys doing today? Oh my gosh, we're doing great. We're so glad to be here. We just love you. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Ash you guys fans are the best. forever over here. Yes. <laughs> You guys are rock stars. So how does it feel today? You know, it's the official day. You guys, your book is out. It's out there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I, I couldn't even believe it. And um, when uh, we, we had ordered some books so we could, um, you know, autograph them and stuff. And, uh, and it was, like, surreal because I started opening them up and it just made me start crying. It was so, like, it's today. And it's absolutely today. Now, Going hand in hand with that, with, of course, the essential oils diet and everything that encompasses, you know, we're in the springtime. People are always talking about spring cleaning, cleaning out your house and making room for other things. But also, we need to be spring cleaning our lives. So you guys have some tips for people that need an emotional detox of sorts. Yeah, Ash, this is so important. You know, the Bible says the thief comes in the night, mm. only to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I came, and they, they may have life and have it to the full. Mm. There, There's such an element where, in the health world, we're so focused on the physical toxins, whether it's mm-hmm. the food, whether it's in the air, whether it's the chemicals that are on our skincare product. But a lot of people forget about the toxic emotions that actually trigger physical, neurological responses like unhealthy, depressed hormones that Mm. get emitted throughout the body, inflammation, which can trigger heart disease and and chronic stress and gut issues and even cancer. And our good friend, Dr. Tony Jimenez, who's who's an expert integrative oncologist, he's convinced that cancer is at the root and emotional disorder, which Mm. is why all of his patients goes through a series of faith-based emotional recall healing. So in our book, The Essential Oils Diet, chapter 9 which is all about the keys to an abundant life, covers our 12-step emotional detox program because we know that has to be at the core of someone's forefront mindset before they can even think about losing weight or mm. curing whatever illness they're trying to cure. Yeah. So, wow, that is that is actually pretty explosive. Like, So it's been scientifically proven, essentially, that those emotions, they actually cause physical harm. Oh, yeah, 100%. And that's why we need to make sure, especially things like bitterness, unforgiveness, those are directly rooted to illnesses that pain-related, like fibromyalgia, chronic pain. I haven't met anyone who has let go, who Mm. has forgiven. Mm. Not not to excuse, and this is a big difference, not to excuse, not to make make allowance for, Mm -hmm. but someone who has forgiven, someone who has hurt them, I've not met anyone who has done that and not received a benefit from any pain issues that they received. It's almost like immediate. It's like the joint pain goes away, the fibromyalgia goes away, the arthritis goes away. It's something where, you know, I've seen it. You see people in their old age, they're very arthritic, they get hunched over, their joints and everything starts to calcify. It's all triggered in inflammation. It's very scientific, but God's like, you know, let go, you know, the the phrase let go and let God. Mm. And so... Just to leave everyone with a big tip here, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting someone else to get hurt. Mm. And it doesn't matter what someone did to you. You need to let go. Yeah. And, and, you know, like the Bible says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Unforgiveness isn't retribution. It's not punishment. You're only hurting yourself. Yeah. And so by allowing yourself to have that clean slate, watch what will happen through your mind, your soul, your spirit, and your body. And once you get it off of your balance sheet and forgive them, then it's it's definitely on God's balance sheet, you know? So yeah. it, it takes it completely off of your plate and frees you from the connection to it. Yeah. And what about the things that we've done? What yeah. about all the wrongs that you and I have done to other people? Yeah. If anyone listening 
if you're like me, you have a tendency to be hard on yourself. I've suffered from self-hatred, self-loathing. I've had to forgive myself. I had to fall in love with myself. Yeah. And, you know, going back to the good old word, the Bible says love others as, you're, as you love yourself. Like, how can you truly love others if you hate yourself, if you hate mm. looking at yourself in the mirror? If you look at yourself and say, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I don't speak good, I don't have this, I don't like my hair, I don't like my skin complexion. Mm. You're just hating on what God made, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and as you fall in love with yourself and realize that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, God will soften your heart. And what happens next? You start to love his creation and then you're able to love others in a way that you're never able to love them before. Mm. That is powerful. Wow. But that's a good point that you made. How can you love others if you don't love yourself? Wow. So true. So one of the things that I like um, that I and I think is really good, too, is you have to date yourself. And, yeah. and that and I think it's really important to take time out of your schedule to pamper yourself or find a place that you can relax, whether it's, you know, in the hot tub or getting your nails um, done or getting a massage or whatever it is. But you need to take time for yourself where you can just be quiet and relax and just really take the time to be with yourself um, so that you have that connection time, you know, whether it's taking a walk, you know, it doesn't have to be something that's expensive, but truly just um, really having that connection time, you and God and you and yourself to be able to take the time out that you need in order to uh, really refocus and regroup and, and make sure that you have a, um, a good mental and emotional balance in your life. Mm, I absolutely agree. All right, you guys. So we're going to take a brief break. When we come back, we're going to talk back to Dr. Z and Mama Z, and we're going to talk more about where they're going next week and where you can catch them, maybe on the small tube. Hmm? So hang tight, and we will be right back. Molecule is reimagining the future of clean air, starting with the air purifier. It's not just an improvement on existing, outdated technology, but a complete reinvention of air purification. Unlike HEPA filters, Molecule destroys indoor air pollutants at a molecular level, completely removing them from the air you breathe. Molecule uses photoelectrochemical oxidation nanotechnology to eliminate allergens, mold, bacteria, viruses, and airborne chemicals. Customers who suffer from allergies reportedly love their molecules. Since Molecule launched, we've heard hundreds of stories from parents, pet lovers, and severe allergy and asthma sufferers about how Molecule has transformed their lives. One customer even said she was able to breathe through her nose for the first time in 15 years. Molecule's technology has been personally effective and verified by science. But most importantly, it's been tested by real people. Molecule has given allergy and asthma sufferers around the country an all-new experience. For my listeners today, I've got a special treat. Get $75 off of your first order when you visit Molecule.com. And at checkout, enter the code AshSetIt. That's Molecule, M-O-L-E-K-U-L-E.com. And at checkout, enter AshSetIt, A-S-H-S-A-I-D-I-T. Welcome back to the show, you guys. We appreciate you so much, Dr. Z, Mama Z. They're chilling out with us. We're talking emotional detox. So what is another what is another tip that you guys could offer the audience as far as doing some spring cleaning in their life? Love it. First, don't look back. Don't mm. beat yourself up over past decisions. Have a good cry by yourself. I mean, this is so important. Allow, especially men, allow yourself mm. to be emotional, to release. And you know what? cry with someone that you trust and this is so important don't be vomiting all your stuff on everyone all the time yeah choose one or two people that can handle it and have those people whether it's a pastor a rabbi a friend a confidant a counselor someone that you trust that can handle it yeah. and help bury that burden with you and you know what have faith you know don't ask yourself do i deserve to be well do i deserve to be happy do i deserve to have a spouse don't ask yourself those questions. The answer is we already know the answer is yes. Mm. Have faith that God loves you and he wants the best for you. And if that's hard for you, then you know what? Don't worry about it. Even the disciples said, Lord, increase our faith. <laughs> Just fall on knees and say, Lord, I'm having a hard time here. Get back into your Bible. Read, fast, pray. Get connected with the body of Christ and a fellow group of believers that can help edify you and watch. Your faith will start to explode. All you need is a faith as small 
is the size seed. of a mustard seed. Yes. And it will still move mountains. Ooh, indeed. And the best tip of all, while you're doing this, I challenge everyone to go on a social media fast. Mm. That is by far the number one cause of emotional issues today and you'll see a majority statistically speaking of divorce proceedings have the word facebook included somewhere i'm telling you it is an issue and facebook give yourself a break yeah stop comparing yourself with others stop being addicted to all that stuff give yourself a break and allow yourself just to be just for I absolutely agree with that. Um, I just believe that people, I think when it comes to the internet and social media, everyone wants to build themselves to be like, oh, I've got this perfect life. I've got this perfect house. Nothing's wrong with me. Nothing's going. Everything is just perfect. And I'm like, that's not reality. You're not, you're living in a fantasy world because nobody's life is perfect. (laughs) That is right. Absolutely. Nobody's life was perfect, but you guys, I, I got a little tip from a little birdie. A little birdie told me that you guys uh, got something special going on next week. Uh, care to, you know, break the news here on uh, Ash Said It Daily? Woo! We are <laughs> going to be on the 700 Club Live Woo. next Wednesday. We are so excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Congratulations. That is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. you. Know. Yeah. We are going to get to make some some healthy food mm. that avoids the allergens, that's completely anti-inflammatory, and gets us all ready for summer so we can kind of prep when we're going places, doing things so that we can be armed with amazing food that's awesome for our body and doesn't cause inflammation. Awesome, awesome. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, as usual, I love you guys, Dr. Z, Mama Z. I appreciate you guys for joining us today. And uh, anyway, um, leave us, you know, what is the best way for people to get in contact with you? And, of course, to get that brand new spanking hot book that's out today. We love you and we appreciate you and all your listeners because you're global and we're just celebrating your new Central America audience. Thank you. So (laughs) welcome, y'all, down there. And we love y'all. We really do appreciate you. If you want to get plugged in, go to EssentialOilsDiet.com. Pick up Mm. the book. And we have a group challenge coming up. May 20th. It's a 60 day group challenge where we already have a thousand people signed up wow. and we're going to walk people through a two month program on how to transform your life step by step by step. It's our gift for you for buying the book. Go to essentialoilsdiet.com. Sounds like um, that's, that's awesome. Awesome plan. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you to everybody that supports the movement, of course, com. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you guys, that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. This is what it's all about, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is way better. Until next time, you guys. <laughs>